Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. Good afternoon from Hollywood, California. Today is my last day in Hollywood, in Los Angeles. Tomorrow at around 11 a.m., I am going to be taking a flight, a 16-hour flight to Hong Kong. I am looking forward to that. Not really. That will be the longest flight I have ever been on. Before that, it would have been uh, from Auckland, New Zealand to Los Angeles, which was a 12-hour flight. And I thought that was long, so add four more hours. So 5 p.m. Tuesday, local time, I will be in Hong Kong. But for now, I am going to go to Fat Sal's. that was really good if you're ever in the los angeles hollywood area swing by fat sal's try their buffalo chicken cheese fries absolutely delicious all right let's talk about my upcoming travel plans on this trip and then i have a trip after this that i'm kind of playing by ear i kind of don't want to plan too much for that trip but for this trip i'll talk about so tomorrow i have a flight from los angeles to hong kong i'm excited to finally go to hong kong it wasn't somewhere that was really on my bucket list but the skyline alone is pretty cool. Then if you ever played Call of Duty, they had a map called Kowloon. I don't remember which Call of Duty it was on, but they had a expansion pack and that was one of the maps. And that's an actual place in Hong Kong, Kowloon, where they have these really tall high ass buildings. So I'm excited to explore Hong Kong. And I'm also going to Hong Kong because one, it is very cheap to go to Hong Kong from Los Angeles. $500 round trip ticket, direct flight. There's no layovers, there's no stopovers, there's none of that shit. I'm going straight from Los Angeles to Hong Kong, 16 hour flight. So that's my first destination after Los Angeles. So I will be spending four days in Hong Kong. And then on March 9th, on a Saturday, I am heading to Manila, Philippines. Now I've never had a real desire to go to the Philippines. I hear it's super dangerous. Just like every other country that America gives the too dangerous to visit stamp. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's that dangerous. And I certainly don't think it's more dangerous in Philippines than in the United States of America. Just facts there. Does Philippines have mass shootings and bombings and whatever? Sure, but not to the degree that America has them. So with that being said, I am looking forward to going to the Philippines. I met somebody in Ilo Ilo. I'm not sure they're going to show up or not, but just in case I have been talking to other people in Philippines in Ilo Ilo. And from my understanding, they are very, very friendly people in Ilo Ilo. I'm not sure how they are in Manila. I haven't really talked to anybody in Manila, so I don't know. So I'm going to be spending about nine days in the Philippines. And then after the Philippines on March the 19th, I believe, I am heading to Bangkok, Thailand. Now, I was going to spend a very long time in Thailand, like the duration of this trip, I was going to spend all in Thailand, but I was like, you know what, I do eventually want to find somebody romantically in the United States, 
or in Canada or in Mexico, one of those realistic destinations to have a relationship in. And if I do that, I'd like to tone down my travel addiction. So with that being said, that's why I added Philippines and then the other destinations I'm about to announce. All right, so after I spend about 10 days in Thailand, I'm spending a week in Bangkok and I'm spending three days in Phuket. And then after my time in Thailand, I will be going to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for three days for the weekend. I've never been to Malaysia. I've always wanted to see the Petronas Towers in person, so I'm happy I'm going to knock that off my bucket list. And then after that, I am heading to Japan for, I believe, 12 days. I am going to be going to Tokyo and I'm going to be going to Osaka. So exciting stuff there. If anyone has been following me for the past year now, you know I have a sushi addiction. So I'm excited to try sushi where it originated in Japan. So that should be some exciting stuff there. I've always, I've always been intrigued by the Japanese culture anyways. So it's going to be a phenomenal trip in Japan. Uh, if this is my last international overseas trip, which it's not, but if it is, at least I've been to Japan, you know? So I should be going to about 25 countries on this trip. Well, not on this trip, but after this trip, I should have been to 25 countries in my lifetime. I'm going to four new countries on this trip. So anyways, after I go to Japan, I will be heading back to Hong Kong. And I've been thinking I might go to Macau. Hey, there's my Airbnb host. I shouldn't say that out loud. But anyways, yeah, I might be going to Macau instead of Hong Kong on my way back to Hong Kong since it is so close. And Macau is like this Las Vegas of Asia. So I'd like to go there. If not on this trip, another trip to Asia. But why not on this trip, you know? And then after Hong Kong, I'm heading back to Los Angeles, California for a day only. And then I'm going south of the border to Mexico City for a couple of days. See what I can find there. Indulge in al pastor tacos. Can't wait for that. Everybody knows I love tacos, especially El Pastor tacos. I love Mexican food, so I cannot wait to return to Mexico City for the first time in about nine months. And then after that, I should be going home. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but we will see. Anyways, I think that's about a wrap on this video. Uh, then after I get home, I'm gonna work for a few weeks and then I'm gonna head up to Canada. And then, yeah, that's it. So anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Zach and I do like to backpack around the world, literally. Thank you for watching. The next time you see me, I will be at the LAX airport heading to Hong Kong. A very long 16 hour flight to Hong Kong. Oh well. So yeah, those are my travel plans for the next few months. After about June, I have no idea what I want to do. I kind of want to start going on road trips because I found in the past during road trips, it's easier to find someone to be romantic with and have a relationship with. It happened with a girl in Toronto that I met in Chicago. It happened in Las Vegas. So, I mean, with that being said, maybe another road trip might lead to something more, something more, yeah. All right, well, my name is Zach and I like to backpack around the world. Hey, come here.